I was in the office academy, mm. we were coming to school and a, a policeman was just walking around behind me. She tapped me and I thought she was like, where's your dad? <laughs> Not till we're walking away, see, forget. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, we're not going to see. So, at the age of six, the moment I noticed that my younger brother was... Taller than you. Yeah, taller yeah. than me. I, I think that was when, subconsciously, hmm. I knew something was wrong with me. Hmm. And sometimes, even when I have misunderstanding with my siblings, hmm. they use the same name that they fight, they try to fight other kids off, you know, from calling me. They call me the same name. My mom would always tell me, see, you know you're small. You cannot go and start carrying cement. You cannot go and start carrying wood and say you want to be a furniture. Uh, that, 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 then they call them furniture now. Um, Tapenta. thank you. <laughs> so, so then, you know you cannot do all this. Thing. So the best thing for you is to go and study, go and read your books. So I knew the only weapon I had to conquer the world. Yeah. It's just by going to school. Do you think that because of the roles you were acting, do you have experience that people thought that you didn't even go to university? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. A lot of times, you know, being in IMT really changed a whole lot of my story. One of my interviews, somebody asked me, come, Chile D. Kereze, I watch Akinokwa, and you were flawless. Are you sure like, that you don't have a part of this in your character, you know? So I told him, no, I'm not mischievous, but if, you, if there's... Any need for me to be mischievous. You will show up. I mean, this is life. <laughs> <laughs> you will show up and do it. Growing up, my relationship with my parents is just, come here, have you watched plays? Have you done this? That if you do, we we'll hardly stay together and play. You do have kids, don't you? Yeah, I have. Yeah. But I you decided to, them. yes, I decided to put them, I am the celebrity, they are yes, not. not them. So I put them aside. Right. But does it change, did it affect the way that you decided to raise your children? Yeah, I just want them to be free. Mm -hmm. I don't want to, because if you put that celebrity in there, the moment everybody gets to know them, it will affect them. It will affect them. And right. I don't want that. Yeah. You hide them like, yes. even your wife, apart yes. from the announcement. Yes. <laughs> you know? Yeah, so she can go to market, do yeah. every other things, you know, without, without being much ado. Yes. Yeah. People informed that you were selected for an MFR. <laughs> yes, 2010. 2010. This one is not, this, this is not no, current, this is... 13 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> when you heard, when you were contacted, how did you receive it? What went through your mind? I couldn't believe it. In yeah. fact, uh, in your work from federal government, uh, now people were getting money. So there's no need to even think uh, about no, it. No, Just no, remove no, no, it. No, no. So I removed my mind from it. Yeah. One day, somebody called me. Said, Chinedu, go and check um, either Vanguard or what? He said, I should check page 144. I said, what is it? Say your name. Your name, you and the Mama G. We saw your names. Your, some of the uh, people that have been uh, selected for National, National Award. Ah. Yeah. See, I really buy paper. I rush. <laughs> I go by the one. <laughs> True. It's just very unfortunate that, you know, we live in this part of the world. Mm. It's unfortunate because you see those movies, mm. there's no contract. Mm. See, there was no single agreement, no single contract, contractual ag agreement between us. As a matter of fact, so do you know that if you get to these people and tell them, please, can we have a contract? They label you. You, you, become, you become a rebel. Yes, they blacklist you. Even. Immediately. What's the one thing you're proudest of? 